Well hello and welcome back to Posh Cast Camping. Now we've left Liverpool and we've come up further, a little further north to Preston and then to a little village called Freckleton which is bef just before you get to Lytham St Anne's and Blackpool on the northwest, northwest coast of England and uh, we found this beautiful site in fact we're attending the Tour Fest Northwest and we're invited by Caravan Addies and the Caravan Nut so we've got caravanners, motorhomers, campervanners all at this get together and the site here at Freckleton is full to bursting. I think there's one or perhaps two uh, pictures available. Well, it's quite a breezy morning this morning. I'm going to walk you up this long private drive. It's a privately owned campsite and uh, it's uh, only three or four years old I believe so it's really bright and shiny, very very clean and tidy as well. And, uh, I'm going to walk down this private drive. Just on the right hand side you'll see the dog field and there's some chickens in a pen and then we'll get down to the main entrance barrier which you have your individual code for. Uh, each pitch has an individual access code through the barrier and then beyond that is reception and the little, little shop um, which has some essentials and some goodies as well to keep you uh, from having to walk into the village which is only a, less than a mile down the road. Just behind me here is the reception where you check in and uh, where the little shop is and, uh, and just to the right of that is the uh, ladies and gents toilets and showers and other facilities as well. And over here is the motorhome point. Even though you've got a service pitch, you can still drive over onto the motorhome service point if you want to. Lovely field over the back here, which you can uh, walk, play games, and enjoy. And there's some goalposts in there for the children to play ball games. Children's Playground. Look at the hey, Look what Sue's doing. She's reminiscing. That's posh of them. Hey. That's posh, isn't it? This is a bit posh for a posh yeah. cat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Hello, pal. Hello, mate. All right. Yeah. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> we got, you've got an enormous awning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is Dibs, and look in here. Look, this is all your work, isn't it, Tony? It's all my work. Yeah, I was no, putting the awning up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's yeah. such fun. Exactly the same. Table, look. Dry fryer. Yeah. Yes, they're good, isn't they? Caravan Addies. I'll put a link in the description. 
Yeah. 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 Y
So we're not sure quite what this is, but it says muscle tank. It's a nice uh, tiled effect on the wall there. And some uh, like mosaics. It's rather interesting, the seating and a nice view. And incidentally, the sky is beginning to break out. We've had a very grey morning. Lots of rain this morning, but um, it's beginning to break out quite nice now. Let's have a little look at this here. The ladies chatting away. And look at this here. Look. <laughs> Looks like a muscle, doesn't it? And some more uh, tiles and mosaics along here. This is rather attractive, I like this. A little bit of information about the mus muscle tank. And the reason for it being here was the uh, pollution was affecting the mussels and poisoning people that were eating the mussels. So uh, this was created in 1935 at a cost of £8,000. Tanks to cleanse. And here's a bit more here about the Ribble Estuary. And this uh, has only been here since 2018. It's very nice. And the gardens as well. I'm going to go through the gardens. Sue loves the gardens. And uh, we saw a few of these heads along the roadside. These big round heads. Uh, I don't know what they are, nor does Sue, so if you know, put the name of that plant in the comments, because we weren't sure what it was. There's some seed heads here now, look, which I believe are the same plant, but these are the ones here. It's a closer shot. Well, I'm trying to determine what the significance of this chap in the centre of the pond is. Um, some lovely lilies. And Sue's just noticed the lilies. I'm not sure what this fella in the middle is. So if I can find out, there might be a notice over there. A centenary cobble clock, 1905 to 2005. And uh, where is it, you ask? Oh, it's over there amongst the gardens. Very pretty. Even on a oh, sort of an overcast day like today these gardens are looking really pretty. Yeah? And we're in June I suppose it's summer. This uh, time of year that outdoor pursuits this looks like crown bowls as they're going across from corner to corner and the lawn would be slightly higher in the middle with crown bowls and there's the uh, garden itself and it looks like a few of those plants have grown up since that picture was originally taken and the man is now wicker man so flyed sand dunes project and to give us a little bit of context as where we are on the northwest coast here uh, this is Lytham and uh, St Anne's Blackpool and where we've come from is Southport here and we're staying Right about somewhere here on this side at Freckleton. So 
So we've only come a few miles to Lytham and, and uh, Lytham St Anne's. You know, there's been uh, the old fishing industry when you see a few old tractors like this. The RSPB visitor centre just here, and then uh, a pavilion here. It's really nice with a clock. Ten past four. Just looking at my watch, it's not the right time. <laughs> it's uh, 20 past three. The little uh, signets are still chasing, Mum. Well, Poppy's being a good girl. Watching the swarm. By the late 19th century, golf was becoming more widely popular outside the Scottish home, and from the lake's very beginning, the game became a major role in drawing visitors to Fairhaven. And uh, the cafe is on the site of the first clubhouse of the Fairhaven Golf Club founded in 1892 and that's that building ahead of us here. Well we've got quite a gathering. It's Friday night on the Jubilee Rally and uh, the sun is lovely tonight. We came over last night, it was pouring with rain, uh, had a beer, a bit of cheese and wine a right old natter for about an hour and a half, but it wasn't sort of filming weather, it was awful, but tonight is just the opposite, and we're um, we're doing a quiz. Let's have a look. So Jenny's in charge of the pen, and uh, look here. A president. Yeah. Um, that one. You look so old, doesn't he? No, I don't think so, but... Yeah.
Jesus. memory of the children who died 23rd of August 44. Uh, apparently there was an air disaster towards the end of the war where a plane came down and hit a school and took the lives of uh, a number of children and these gardens are in their memory. Is it the baking the cake or the eating the cake that's the competition? Yeah, do not want that pasta. Are you for real? You knew what happened. Shit's red. Who's chief judge then, Martin? Not me. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's had more. <laughs> oh, looks very yummy. Yes, this. Is. Ah. And the first prize goes to Red Velvet. So everybody can come and talk okay. in. Yeah. And this one was the winner. Yeah. Oh, really good. Now Bob and Jenny have got these posh spoons, look. <laughs> eh? Collapse spoon. Is, is that what they call a spork? Yeah. Yeah. Seven in one, this is. Seven in one? Seven in one, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's got a fork yeah. as well. A oh, can wow. opener and a... Wow. Saw for choice. And, they, and they've got their own little freeze. bag as well, haven't they? Yeah. 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 Right down here, look. Yeah. 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 That's it. Look at that, look. Yeah, it's got a little um, yeah, thing the label in there as and well. everything, a little drawstring bag. Yeah. That's really yeah. posh. That's a posh enough to be a posh cat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Chopsticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fantastic. You're not seeing those. Okay. Oh, <laughs>